In this video, you are going to learn how to integrate Calendly to your Shopify website. And additionally, you are going to learn how to make a menu and add that page on this menu bar. Hi, this is Nassim from NassimRazor.com and I am a conversion tracking specialist. If you need my assist, feel free to contact me. Don't forget to check this video description because I will give all the contact information on that. So no more talks, let's get started. As you can see, this is my computer browser and I am going to search the Calendly. And here is the official website of Calendly, which is Calendly.com. And you can see this is very popular website to casual any meeting. Okay. So first of all, we need to see the pricing. For example, you can see you can use it for free, but you have to get some limitation and you have to sacrifice some feature. But if you want, you can pick up their starter or any pay premium version but for this video i am just choosing the free one and i am opening my account with my email address so just click on continue and just allow the calendly okay so hit the allow and you can see it's getting few seconds to prepare my account so it's very simple i hope you can do it easily and let's do a quick survey which is i want to use my cleanly for own and i want to do for consultancy okay so pick consultancy and hit the continue of course you can choose based on your needs okay and here you can see already my calendly is made and on by default calendly meeting is made and voices look like this so this is 30 minutes uh, calendly and you can share this uh, meeting link to anyone uh, if you want and also you can see in the share you can the three simple step but if you want you don't have website just simply the copy link and share to it uh, the anyone from the contact environment but if you have a website and you want to embed this calendly for like this in this video i am going to show you how to do it for shopify okay so for website embedded i just want to pick up these three so, but i always prefer to online embedded because uh, this is pretty useful to uh, set up the conversion tracking okay so if i hit next you can see this is the code we need to implement this code to our website and if you want you can choose any color any text color background color etc so this is the quick uh, view of calendly i don't want to change anything just go to uh, copy this code and going to my shopify website okay so first of all you need to log in your shopify and go back in so i am uh, using my partner because i don't have any premium access to my shopify so that's why i am using my developer so i hope you already know what the developer site is so this is actually the feature for testing so i just need to implement the uh, code here for logging so this is for security purpose i just uh, quickly implement that code and i will log in quickly okay so let's input the code so i hope uh, if you have a, a new website you can use that security uh, setting because this is quite a secure your website and now you can see this is the online theme of the shopify and if i show you my shopify demo website which is look like this and now it's some uh, demo product added and let's go to pages and make a page for uh, embedded that code okay you can see one contact page is here but if you want to new page and then hit the add page and i just want to paste the name which is book a meeting okay so i just implement the code here and uh, if you directly uh, implement that code here for example uh, it is not will embedded it you will not see the calendly meeting okay so you just need to try to find the code okay because uh, without code pasting you it will just uh, show as a text okay so 
if you uh, visit this uh, box in quickly you can see the one uh, the developer sign is here which is code section so this is the button show html so this is show html and now if you in paste this uh, code and get back to html back and you can see that it's loading our site so um, we just uh, quickly save this page and open this page for preview so on the top right you can see which is view pages so it's not loading here so just click on view pages and show the preview and uh, it's the first time that's why it's take yeah here it is you can see this is our booking and this is uh, our website link that now you, you are able to send your website but if i uh, go to the home page you can see no way to see that page so that's why i'm going to make a quick menu and add that code page on the menu bar okay so if i click on the customization uh, and then if i select the header and in header section you can see uh, the um, we need to find a menu okay so in menu uh, header and the right side you can see the menu so we want to use menu from here so it's actually under the navigation sector if you want you can directly come to this navigation also if you want you can come through like that okay so let's go to navigation and this is the footer menu and main menu we need to add it on main menu and add menu items and uh, give a name uh, i just want to pick the same name uh, which is book a meeting and i need to search the page that i already made a few moments ago okay so just uh, search here book a meeting uh, i just want to keep meeting and you can see the book a meeting is now showing so just select it and when you have done and just hit it on the add okay now save it and you can see if i reload this page uh, it's not here so we need to uh, reload again so i think it's uh, maybe problem with cookie but no problem let's uh, visit the website again uh, just um, yeah here it is now you are uh, able to see your menu bar of your booking meeting okay so it's now look like this and uh, here actually this video of today so if you have any query feel free to ask me and you can see now any of your visitor can book a meeting with you and you can share your own website don't need to share your calendly link okay so why is this pretty professional i think and if you see more video like this about also the calendly tracking you can subscribe my channel and i will definitely publish new video okay that's all for today if you found this video was useful then don't forget to give thumbs up and if you want to see more video from me then consider subscribing to this channel because it will help me to continue working on this channel my name is nasim and i will see you on the next video till then bye have a good day